Happy the birthday to you. Oh, oh. wow. It felt like a drummer when they put dust on the drum. <laughs> probably know from the thumbnail and title of this video, but put it in my mouth is back! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! We're doing a, a one episode holiday special. Uh, before we get started, I just really quickly want to give a shout out to you, the fans, for uh, wanting this to come back, and also a shout out to the Bucket of Shame. Uh, thank you for dropping the charges to just a restraining order. Um, so, uh, in absence of the Bucket of Shame, we actually have two tins of shame. I'm honestly not excited for my show to be back. Uh, this is a great <laughs> opportunity. I love it, but jeez, jeez, if you could smell what this room smells like. I have no <laughs> idea what the food is, but just off the smell, it's got to be five or six of the worst dishes we've ever had. Um, today's episode topic is holiday treats of the past. Yay! So, yeah. I don't know if that means that we found fossilized fruitcake or if we're going to be making recipes from the 15th century. All I know is I'm probably going to vomit. Yeah, baby! Let's get in the spirit. Doing I think it's time to get started. Food girl! So come here! Uh, give me a hug. Hi! Hi! We're back! Yeah! You wanna hang out and try this with me? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got a victim. What is it? I don't know, and I'm not doing it alone. Okay. Okay, so before we get started, let's look at these cute little plates. Yeah. Oh, what year? Guess what year this would be What year? Ooh, what year Look is how this bulbous treat? it is. This looks like a meat pie. I'm gonna say this is of British descent, something European. Chicken pot pie? Oh, All really? Right. Oh, cool. Let's learn about it. Okay. This is mince meat pie. Yum. Traditionally served at Christmas in England, originated in the Middle East, consists of fruit and meats. Yum. Fruit and meats, get your fruit and meats. Yeah. So this goes back to the oh, 1700s, a I, mince meat pie. I feel like playing Fable 2, they had that in yeah. the game, mince meat pie. <laughs> yeah, get your mince meat and some fruit in some crust, yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Big boy. Whoa, is that apple? That's and so beef? disgusting. <laughs> this looks like a Denny's hamburger. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Did somebody just say Denny's hamburger? <laughs> Nobody should ever be attracted to that statement. But I am. <laughs> okay, so I like apple pie and I like beef. But together. Oh my god, yeah. wait. You came in at the wrong time. No, nah, this looks so good. Can we just get a close up for everyone I'm so at home? For this. Why does this look like a taco fell apart in my pie? <laughs> it's like those breakfast tacos. It's like beef and potatoes. And like <laughs> Taco Bell's new croissant. breakfast pie. Yeah. Do you want a normal size fork, ma'am? Huh? Ma'am? It is a normal size fork. <laughs> She's just very small. It yeah. tricks you into thinking. So it looks like there's, so it looks like there's raisins, mm -hmm. uh, dried blueberries. That's a raisin. Oh, is that pear? There's Ooh, raisin, there. pear, like corn. That's not corn. It's not corn, it's just a tiny piece of... All what, right, fruit? Potato. That's ready. Hang on! Ah! Three, Three, two, one! Wow, okay. Well, that's unpleasant. What does it taste like? It was really good with the apple until the beef was like, hey, I'm here. Yeah. Ugh. Right now I taste apple pie, but with the texture of like cartilage. That's me. <laughs> hey, that's not so bad. I had a bite, but you know, it didn't feel like I didn't. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Come on, it's not that bad. It's a shame. Come on, you can do it. Start with a soft I'm all about texture, and this is the wrong texture. Wait, honestly, you know who would love this? I think Keith would actually really enjoy Keith. this. Keith! Keith! Keith. Uh -oh. Give it a tasty taste. This is a fork. I actually think you'll like it. Let me make it this way. Yeah, get some crust in there. It's good. You'll like it, Keith. Oh. Get the, the crust. crust. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that meat? Oh. Yeah, it's good though, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I should like it though. This is really good. It's great up until the end bites when all you're left with is some Meat. of the chewiest ground beef you've mm -hmm. ever had. No, I'm and getting there. No flavor too. It's just got so much history in Why this pie. I have to yeah. Well, oh, this is different. You good? Yeah. It's not that bad. Mince meat pie. What do you guys think on the no gross out scale? Ten out of ten. Ten out of that ten. That means awful. Oh, okay. Uh, Remember the gross out scale? I thought ten was good. No, mm -hmm. one is good. I give it like a two or a three. A two. 
to her Because, city. yeah, because I could I could take another bite right now, but like, I There's won't. There's no reason to. On the no girl out scale, mincemeat pie gets what? a solid three. Three? It wasn't too bad. This tastes like something that, like, I'm at my aunt's house, and I don't want to be there, and she made me food, and I'm going to eat a little bit. Uh, let me just get this out of the just, way. Sorry. Thank you, food girl. Yeah, this is probably my job. No, no tips, mm -hmm. though. Oh, oh, oh. Bring it out, food girl. I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. Here. I'm back. Oh. Whoa, hang on. Smell no, it. Smell what's it. wrong with Smell it? Smell it. <laughs> Smell it. Don't get too close. It smells like fruit leather and cinnamon. Don't and do that. I don't that. like that. <laughs> you guys ready to find okay. out what it is? <laughs> <laughs> this is fruitcake. Uh, dates back to Roman times. It was uh, served to British royalty. Fruitcake uh, has traveled to space, apparently. Uh, an annual... There's a fruit cake toss? Yeah, there's an annual fruit cake toss. What? That's crazy. Can I do a chop? <laughs> Go for it. Do you give me permission to chop? Oh, I give you permission Happy to chop. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Wait, can I try? <laughs> wow. Guys. This is tough. This is not how you ever cut cake. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I, I love cutting cake. I think it's like slicing bread. Yeah, you gotta, it, this is a bread knife. We have our lovely chef Tracy here today who is making all of these great ancient treats for us. And she says that fruitcake is traditionally so hard because they didn't have sugar, so they would use nuts and fruit and pack it in there as much as they could to try to create some sort of natural sugar Damn, flavor. Damn, think how skinny they were back in the day. Yeah, I don't know. Processed sugar? Well, also, they're probably starving. <laughs> yeah, and they were like, this is it. Like, this it's is our dirt. food for the year. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Come here. Here's a fork for you, lady. How you doing back there, Shane? Oh, wow. Oh. I forgot about it. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Mm. This tastes like the flavor in your trail mix that you never wanted to get. <laughs> like you just oh. wanted to get M&Ms and almond and you ended up with just straight raisin. Oh my gosh. Oh, I taste a lot of gingerbread. What is this big <laughs> fruit thing in here? It might be a nut. Oh. Um, there's apricot. <laughs> but it's all dried fruit. <laughs> I definitely taste dried apricot. Uh, definitely. Uh, the raisins. I like currants. Oh, it's in my hair. I still keep trying to figure out uh. maybe, maybe the crust is good, but maybe this is like a brownie, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of this to be the most fudgiest cake. This just isn't cool. I like it. I like the way it looks. It's I very know, aesthetically it looks so nice, pretty. but and not in my mouth. I get why everyone jokes that it's inedible. Um, I mean, yeah. no gross out scale. I would give fruitcake a solid four out of ten. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah, four is a good yeah, one. Yeah, four. Good, that's four. Pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. Thank you very much. You're cool welcome. Girl. This wow. Sure. Bye. Um, so can I <gasps> oh. So far, we've had mincemeat pie. We've had fruitcake. Both were disgusting, but nothing really. What did you see? What did you see? I'm that not gonna look. It looks so pretty. It looks like the best dessert ever. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Food girl. I'm coming. What is coming? Oh my God, for sure this is a Cheesecake Factory cake. <laughs> All right, can I chop? So plum pudding, the ingredients in plum pudding were originally put together in order to represent Jesus and his apostles, not in order to taste good. <laughs> Apostles. Apostles? What's an apostle? What's the difference? Apostle. I'm a apostle. Jew. It's apostle. What's, a, what's an apostle? It's the follower of Christ. So apostle. the 13 ingredients in plum pudding are to represent Jesus and his gang of hoodlums running yeah. around, so obviously you're causing something havoc. Something that's supposed to symbolize people? Yeah, we. so it's not supposed to taste good. It's more specifically supposed to represent Christ and his heir apostles. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, and he had 12 followers, so there's 13 ingredients. Mm -hmm. Get ready for this fact. There are no plums in plum pudding. Probably because they mean plum pudding. <laughs> this <laughs> just sounds like from the get-go, they're lying to you. Yeah, it just sounds like they're Why like would I trust trolling. anything? Like a lie. They're trolling back I then. don't trust anyone who Middle makes ages. this. I don't trust anyone who eats it. May I chop? Yeah. I just want to peek at what it looks like, you know, when you get to see inside a cake and it's all like rainbow. It yeah. kind of looks it's like a ball of cookie dough, like a really big ball of cookie dough. Very dense. But you know that what's inside is not yeah, going to taste this good. Is, ooh, ooh. I'm going to just pull that out. Go just ahead. not care. We don't care. Nice. It weirdly looks good. It kind of looks like cookie dough. Take a bite out of it. Oh my Keith, God, it's This is plum pudding. I don't like plums. Uh, it's made with no plums, so you might like it. <laughs> plum pudding has no plums in it. It's lots of raisin. Oh, this is starting to smell. Three, two, one. Mm -mm, I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Why does it taste exactly the same as the other one? Yeah, this tastes like fruit It's the cake. raisins, it's the raisins. It kind of tastes like carrot cake, and I don't like carrot cake at all. Oh, Ooh. bad. Ooh. <laughs> There's a 10. There's a 10. Aftertaste, bad. During taste, not so bad. I don't understand these flavors. Yeah, that's a lot. People's palates oh, were different. Ew, mm -hmm. gross. They had no selection or variety Ooh. back in the day. Yeah, they didn't, they, like salt and pepper were super hard to get. But I'm sure if you traveled back to ancient China, you'd get some really good stuff. Hold on, how long has Shane been back there? Huh? Who are you talking about? Shane. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so <laughs> what do you, what do we rate this? Um, on the no, it grows on scale. I would give Jesus and his 12 Arab Apostle cakes, uh, I'd give that a four out of 10. Yeah, I used to shop there yeah. at 13. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a four. Okay, the thing is, I wanna make a dish that symbolizes me. I'm gonna make it freaking great and delicious. Mm -hmm. This person had a very low self-esteem, you know? If they're kicking, cooking this and this is like Jesus, that doesn't make sense. It's the currants that are really <laughs> freaking this up. <laughs> Olivia, we didn't need any more forks or knives. Oh, well, that's why I kept this one. We don't need forks for this one! Oh, oh food this is, girl. This is, this is, oh my goodness. Yo, this is my favorite, okay, my favorite snack is making cold tuna with, with wheat thins. Uh, and apparently there's also a beverage of some sort that pairs nicely with this super sophisticated dish. Hopefully is it hot cocoa? Do. Not hot cocoa. Why would you want to have hot cocoa with what tuna? What possibly, what liquid goes with tuna other than salt water? Oh my, what is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no, this doesn't smell very good. Why does it have a lemon in it? Whoa. Oh, this smells oh. so bad. Uh, so what do we do for a string this? Or do uh, we first we're gonna learn about it. This is a tuna Christmas tree invented by women in the 50s and 60s as a way to wow party guests. Yep. So People were so like, they thought this was super sophisticated. It's so then. breakfast yeah. at Tiffany's. Like, we're gonna scoop some tuna off of this tree. <laughs> Sorry. That is, <laughs> it was pretty sophisticated. I, you know, if I met that person, I'd be like, wow, they probably went to what? Berkeley? All right, now let's learn about the tea. Okay. Hot Dr. Pepper. Whoa. You said Coke. Oh, I put, I put lemons in my Dr. Pepper sometimes, but not when it's hot. Dr. Pepper was originally a tonic used as a form of medicine. What? It's still used to treat the common cold. There was no actual Dr. Pepper. The drink was invented by Charles Alderton. Dr. Pepper, I guess, originally was an actual medicine meant to be drank hot in order to get rid of your cold. That's crazy. I wonder if it was served hot before it was served cold. I don't know. What? There's 23 ingredients. Maybe Can one I is ibuprofen. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna scoop from the bottom. Guys, tuna is really one of my least favorite things. Whoa. Visually, I like tastefully. Parsley. I don't want cranberry. I don't either, but I'll put one on. Dude, cranberries are very potent. Three, two, two one. one. Tuna, oh. Like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! The tin's gonna, no. It wasn't ah. bad. This is so good. I like, you, don't you like tuna? I Perfect. love tuna. The cranberry was kind of weird, but I'm just gonna oh. keep eating the tuna. The cranberry added like citrus to it. It's like almost lemon on here. Yeah. It's really great. Oh! That's Yo, good. chill, dude. <laughs> Keith, come try this one. This is really good. I'll put one together. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. True. Is that in your mouth? I don't want that. You have to. You have to. <laughs> Ew! Okay, now you need more tuna. Oh, jeez. You, you gotta have that cream. Put the <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Really? He likes it. I like yeah. tuna. We got good pepper? Mm -hmm. There's a glass Why of... Why is this hot? It's hot. This That's is hot. what they used to drink in the Old 60s. school drink, man. Ready? Mm, three, three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Wow, it's great. He's Ooh. gonna be the steak guy. That's very satisfying. No. It's so strange. Cause it tastes exactly oh my God. like you taste oh, everything. It's so good. It's better heavy. than like apple cider. Yeah. The lemon's the problem. 60s, dude, you're right. I'm telling you, the 70s. I'm gonna give hot Dr. Pepper. That's a two out of 10 on the gross out scale. Yep. That's something that you should try at home I'm without the lemon. Yeah. Like in my opinion, just it's warm up some Dr. Pepper. Nice. Dude, it is really good. Wow. Listen, I don't know what the hell they are drinking, I guess hot Dr. Pepper, but this cranberry tuna tree 
on a cone base with a little bit of beet on top and some parsley. That is an eight out of ten on the no gross notes. Are you kidding me? Do not come near that. Do not look at me. No, no. Do not come near that. The combination of cranberry and tuna nearly made me vomit. And at this point in my life, like I've gotten past needing to vomit. You have gotten past a lot of things and you've gotten past not liking a lot of different foods. But can I say like, dude, like you have to get over not liking tuna. Everybody likes tuna. Get it. Listen, I'm gonna this is an actual poll, a real poll. Comment down below if you enjoy tuna. I need to know if there's other people like me, because there was no way that tuna is actually you ever enjoyed. You eat tuna sushi? I like tuna. It's my yeah. sushi rolls. Yeah. Tracy, you're a chef. You're not a social scientist. I don't think you really like tuna. That's all I'm saying. Comment down below, and I'll do my own tally. That's what I'm gonna do. You don't talk to me. Sorry. Don't talk to me. <laughs> She's so nice. Can you take this? What? I'm taking it home. I don't like watching my friends eat this. It Good. makes me want to puke. Yeah, thank you. Hey, I'm let's go take it. Let's take it. <laughs> all right. We thought we were done, but it wouldn't be put in my mouth without some sort of finale that's gonna make me gag and not feel good for the next 48 hours. Obviously, I can't do this alone. I need my lovely squad, so I'm gonna ask my squad to get up here and turn around so we don't see what the food is. Hold on, we gotta wake him up. Yeah, Shane! Ready? Yes. No. All right, guys. For your enjoyment. On three. Okay. All right, ready? On three, we turn around. <laughs> yes. One, two, to the right three. Side. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it's like a, it's like a pig head. Shane! <laughs> oh my God! The Is this what they make bacon strips out of? No! I'm gonna be vegan again. I've never had spam before. <gasps> stop! Stop! Oh God, don't! Bro. Don't! I gotta admit, I, I might go vegan now, too. Yeah, no, I'm really looking at this. Oh, yeah. Guys, I have never experienced something like this. There's been Whoa. no clear like sign to go been, vegetarian in my entire life. He's this been is a thing. skinned on parts of his head. Uh, like this, this, is a, this is a good time to inform you all that I am part of the Porky Pig fan club. It's <laughs> uh, against the rules, right? Don't fan. Are you gonna oh my god, it's Pig tough! Pig I don't want to see his teeth! Oh. Ew! I mm. must continue my slumber. <laughs> I don't blame you. Wait, I want I don't blame that cheek. So this is a decorative boar's head. Uh, it is the oldest continuing festival of Christmas. Uh, the festival is the boar's head feast, over 120 years old, where uh, I guess everyone gets together and feeds on the boar's head. Are you cutting that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. Wow, this is super tender. Oh, oh, oh. This is good. This does not look good. You guys should all know where our meat comes from yes. and then also decide whether or not you want to eat it. Yeah, and mm. seeing, I'm sure this was killed nicely too. This is the cheek, right? You're yeah, gonna, I think you're gonna yeah, like it. I can good. feel it. I, it like I, like I, I eat my meat medium yeah. well, it's and that's this, like this pink to me. It's smoke, that's yeah. why it's pink. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to pick it up, but just because it's on my show, like that's so disrespectful. <laughs> why am I looking in its memories? You know what's really crazy? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, the eyes are gone. Try it, Courtney, come on. No, it looks too much like my dog I used to have. Hell no. <laughs> Courtney had a pig for a dog. Yo, you what is pig. this? That Everybody doesn't look pig. edible. Here, I'll try it. I'll try it with you. Try it. Dude, come on it. Anyone, this Let's is an invitation to all crew. You can leave your camera, Mitch, if you oh, want. Oh, thank you. You can set up a mm. tell us where we gotta be. You can come and taste this. Three, two, yeah. one. Mmm, it's just the cow. It's really fat though and chewy. <laughs> cool. I think if it was seasoned and stuff, it'd be really good. I think it's got all fat. <laughs> Why are you eating me, Noah? I'm sorry. Oh. Thanks for the cheek, boo. <laughs> not bad. Honestly, it's not bad. Right. It's probably one of the best things we've had on here. It really tastes exactly like Thanksgiving ham. Thank you for this. Uh, who wants this other big slice? Yeah, I right. really, I don't like this like times four. Also, don't like Thanksgiving, and ham's always on Thanksgiving, so it's making me think of that. But mo most of all, man, look at it. 
On the Noah Gross Shot scale, this, I really gotta separate flavor from looking at it. <laughs> the flavor isn't bad. It tastes like honey ham minus the honey. This is a, a two out of 10 on the Noah Gross Shot scale. I may or may not start cutting meat out of my diet. There's a decapitated head on a table. You can still cuddle with it. Nah, it's just a little Ugh. It's a different way of eating your food. This was a very special episode. Um, thank you very much for joining us. It ended with a crazy decorative piece that now I guess is gonna yeah. hang in our studio. Um, thank you for watching. Comment down below if you want more. Put in my mouth, more super stupid sleepover. Uh, Hope you're enjoying Aww. our 12 Days of Smash Miss. We love you guys, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye. Yeah. Oh, dude, are you looking for more holiday cheer? Come click out these videos for some more 12 Days of Smash. Oh, and don't forget to get your Smash holiday sweater today. Part of the proceeds go to do something.org.